Hi, how are you guys doing today? We're well, how are you? Fantastic. Now, can you please tell me a bit about yourself? All right, so I'm Dr. Angela Tucker. I'm a stored product entomologist, and I currently work for Terminex as a technical service manager. And my name's Steve Cousy. I'm a board certified entomologist. I work for Terminex as well. Now, where are you guys from, and where do you live now? All right, so I'm actually from Salina, Kansas, and I currently live in Memphis, Tennessee. And I'm Chicago, born and bred. <laughs> now, how are you guys experts in pests in the pantry? All right, so like I mentioned, I am a stored product entomologist, which means this is what I did my research on. And so I know a lot about pests that are going to be in processed foods as well as whole grains, such as beans. And I guess uh, my knowledge comes from tenure. I've been in the industry for roughly 42 years. Of course, I am a board certified entomologist, so I have a, a lot of experience in the field with this. And what are some signs people should look for that they might have bugs in their pantry? All right, that's a great question. So if you open up your cabinet and it looks something like this, you may also see some larvae that are walking around or coming out of the package of flour. Larvae are gonna be white, they're gonna be tiny. You'll be able to see them. You may also see some webbing at the top of the packaging. These are indications that you may have pests in there. The other sign is if you see adults, whether it's beetles or moths that are walking or flying around inside that cabinet, that's an indication that you have a problem in that cabinet. And what about in processed foods? Yep, they'll be found in processed foods as well. So that's what I did my work on is flour for red flower beetles. So you will find them in rice, grain, pasta, flour. You can also find them in cookies. Well, what is the proper way to store your flour and other dry goods to avoid having little beasties go in there? All right, so once you bring it home, and you've opened the package and you have just a small amount of food left, you wanna put it in an airtight container so that you can see whether there's some insects, whether it's larvae or adults, then you know to throw that entire food away so it doesn't, the problem doesn't spread. This will also help for pests that might be moving in, such as ants, because then they can't get into that packaging. Steve, what are some of the most common pests that are in the pantry? Pantry pests usually are going to be a host of different types of small beetles. They all look very similar, reddish brown in color, one eighth to one quarter of an inch long. The others will be moths, and they will have a very general diet as far as any kind of dried foods, whether it's processed foods or whole grain materials such as beans and rice. Now, what are some of the dangers that involve having these pests in the, in the cabinet? Now, that's the good news. Fortunately, there's very little danger. They do not sting, they do not bite, and they're also not associated with transmitting disease. So the important thing here is if you have a problem or suspect of having one, is to identify that source as quickly as possible and remove it before it has a chance to spread and infest the entire pantry. And how can you tell if the problem has gone from just a little problem to a really big problem? That's a great question, Michelle, particularly with a lot of do-it-yourself out there on the internet. So let's say today you have a pest, you remove all of the infested foods, you throw them away, and you come back in 30 to 40 days and you see those same pests again. That's an indication that you may have missed either a package of food or maybe even some spillage like I showed you with some flour where you might not have found it and cleaned it. That's an indication that you may need some additional help. Another indication is when you find those pests in the bedroom or the bathroom in areas where you don't store food, that's when you know you need someone to come in, identify the pest for you, and help you identify areas that may need some additional removal of food items. Well, what should you do? Uh, so you need to just call the exterminator in. What will they do to rid you of the problem? The main thing is if you call them in is have a sample. If, if it's not already readily avail available for them, keep a sample of the adult insect. That way they can, if they're, if they're an experienced company, they can identify the exact species we're dealing with. And with that, we can focus in on the specific type of food preference that that insect has. And many companies offer that type of service, including Terminex, at no charge. And regionally, are the bugs different? Are there more moths in California and beetles in the, in the east? 
That's a really great question. So this is a pest that is worldwide. You do have some regional differences, but they're really gonna be country-based. So like heifer beetle, you're gonna find more in India than here because it's a strict quarantine pest. But the majority of these pests, like red flower beetles, confused flower beetles, Indian mill moths, you can find worldwide. They've adapted to living with us and living with our food. And so there is no regional pest when it comes to the stored product pests, except for a few. You're going to find them because you're getting that food packaging from the grocery store. And you may, because you didn't store it or because you forgot about it, you just find them that way. Now, what should people expect if they call if they have to call the exterminator? How much time out of their lives do they need to plan for? Now, that's a good question, simply because everything is case specific. If you have an early infestation, it probably would not take that long, and that long is all relative, of course. But I'd at least try to dedicate one hour of my time to be able to work with someone like that. If it is widespread, like Angela mentioned before, it could take a lot longer as far as detecting all the possible sources. Now, where can we go to learn more information? So you can go to Terminix.com, and you can ask questions or look for information on the blog, and we'll help you out with anything that you have questions about. Now, is there anything you want to add? It's really important to be vigilant and just to make sure you go through routine cleaning and also inspect foods before you bring them home. Wonderful. Well, thank you guys both very much. Appreciate these tips. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you.